perigangliomas and pheochromocytomas are extremely rare. Um, and not only are they extremely rare, that they widely go undiagnosed. Um, patients may present in the ER with, you know, heart palpitations. And they get diagnosed, well, you have a panic syndrome, it's nothing, you know, you just have high blood pressure. And then, you know, later on, on autopsy, we're finding that these tumors may be more prevalent than we ever thought that they were. And so new research has started showing that while we used to believe that only 10% of these tumors had a mutation in one of those genes, now we're finding that as high as 40% of those tumors may have a mutation in one of the genes on our panel. Um, and that's huge. That's a huge difference in what we used to believe, but it was also based on classical genetic criteria. Did this patient look like they had MEN? Do they look like they have NF? If they didn't, then they weren't getting genetic testing. And now with this panel and being able to test for more and more at a, a very cost-effective rate, it makes it so that way we may f end up finding that most of these tumors have a genetic cause that we just weren't able to test for previously. We're finding more and more with these panels that these patients that we would have said don't fit any criteria are actually, actually have mutations in, in genes that we can potentially come up with a treatment for them or have a plan for them. Um, and so with these nitrogen panels, with all the number of genes on them, you can really test for everything all at once, more cost effectively in a shorter amount of time. AMBRI offers the most comprehensive nitrogen sequencing panel for paragangliomas and pheochromocytomas on the market currently. It has 10 genes on there, all of which are associated with either paragangliomas and or pheochromocytomas, um, which are endocrine tumors. Um, this panel is particularly important and has been called for, I think, in the endocrine market for a while. There are so many genes associated with these, and all of which, they have a lot of overlap. So because of this overlap, there's really no way to tell which gene is most likely to cause the tumors. And some of them are extremely important for long-term management, mutations in SDHB or MAX incur a higher risk for malignancy. Um, so you would manage those patients differently than you would maybe a, a patient with an SDHD mutation. Um, so because of the overlap and because we don't have really great screening or ways to determine which gene is associated with these types of tumors, this panel can really change the outcome for a lot of patients.